Hello, how's it going? This is a bit of a fun video. It's chill, we're gonna have fun. So in this video, I'm gonna be setting up Vulkan in Ada. And I decided that I would start completely from scratch. So pretend that we have no Vulkan installed. That's the first step, by the way, is to install Vulkan. What we'll need to do is go over and download the Vulkan SDK to start. So I've just searched Luna G Vulkan SDK. We'll click in there, download the Vulkan SDK. Now, actually the version that I have downloaded ahead of time matches the most recent version. So just pretend that I clicked through and I went to Linux because I'm running this on a Linux machine and I got the, the tarball here. Pretend that I've got that. Actually, I do have that. If I open up my home folder, here's the Linux tarball that I installed. I'll just have to extract that. Okay. And this is the folder 1.3.296. So what I'll do is I'll copy that. And usually I have a common folder just called Vulkan. So if I have a bunch of different versions, all of those different versions will be in there as individual folders. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually build the Vulkan SDK because, well, first up, because why not? Uh, but secondly, on some systems, you will need to build this. So if I look at the current directory, there's that Vulkan SDK file, and I'll just put H for help. And it says here that we have some options and the option that I'm after is max jobs because traditionally this takes a long time to build but we can multi-thread it so what i'll do is i'll run the vulcan sdk command execute that executable and tell it to use the maximum number of jobs so i'm going to pause this for now and uh, i'll see you in a bit Okay, so that did not take long at all. I'm actually pretty surprised. The next thing I'm gonna to need to do is if we look in here, there's this setup environment shell script and we can actually have a look at that. So pretty much what this is doing is it's exporting a bunch of environment variables, which will then be used to locate the Vulkan libraries. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this down. Right. Yeah. So as we can see currently, um, some of these environment variables are just not set. So we can fix that by going in to the bash RC or whichever configuration file you're using. And just in this line here, I'm going to tell the terminal to run that shell script, which sets those environment variables. So I can tell it to run source on, and my version is 1.3.296. And it's that setup environment. So I can go ahead, save that, and then restart. And now if I look at that environment variable, it has been populated with the correct setting. So there's one more thing that I'm going to need to do before I am ready to go onto the ADA part of this. And that is to copy the files from the home directory where they were built into the system so that we can actually start using Vulkan. Now there's some things which will help with this. And I'm taking this directly from the Vulkan Linux guide. So I'm just going to run these commands. So fingers crossed that should be working. Check it. Yeah. Okay. Look, that looks great. Okay. Awesome. So I'll close that down and I'll get into the ADA stuff. Okay, so I'm just in my, my Ada folder where I'm doing my stuff and I'm just going to start things off. So I'm gonna make a new project. So initialize binary and I will call this 
Vulcan Fun. I'll go through all the usual stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up, yeah, just open up Google, and I'm just going to look for Volk Ada. So Volk Ada is <clears throat> so Volk Ada is a Vulcan binding written by Phaser Cat, which yeah, as we can see here, is a Vulcan 1.3 binding for the Ada 2012 programming language. It's pretty good. Um, so. What we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and download Volk Ada. And today's session, it's not going to be a structured tut tutorial. It's sort of just a proof of concept. So if we go over to PhaserCat's vlog, they've written in a post about the project. And included in this post is a little sample of code to basically construct, yeah, construct an instance and query some um, extensions. So pretty much this is a proof of concept that we're going to be doing. I'm going to be setting this up and looking through these extensions. But yeah, like I said, go to Volk Ada, download Volk Ada. I've actually got this ahead of time, but again, pretend that I clicked it. So in here, I've got Volk Ada that I just downloaded. Um, and there are all these folders, and then there's this Volk Ada folder, which has all of these bodies and specifications and things. So I'm just going to copy this over and paste this just in my root directory of my folder. And then I'll go into my source code, and we're just going to go one step at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to include Vulcan. And just for fun, I'm going to be periodically running this. So if we run this right now, we get an error and it says, hey, we can't find this Vulcan Ada specification. No problem. So if we look in the Vulk Ada folder, there definitely is a, oh my goodness. There definitely is a Vulcan Ada specification. The project just doesn't know to look in that Vulk Ada folder. So we'll just go over to the GPR file. And I'll specify to also look inside the Volk Ada directory. Now this will take a little bit of time the first time we do it because we actually need to compile these Ada body files. Okay, so that looks like it's pretty much done it. Um, but we're not doing anything at the moment, so let's do something. I'm going to query the available, yeah, available instance layers. So I'll just go ahead and declare this variable. Now, as you can see at the moment, the um, extension sort of, the Ada extension sort of isn't handling things too well, and that's fine. Um, what I can do is just reload it. Awesome, cool, so that's, it's working. Okay, so this will call the enumerate instance layer properties function or procedure, and we can then go ahead and loop through. And just for my text IO purposes, I'll set this up. So, so far so good. All we're doing is just looking through at all the instance properties that we can have in our program. So this will take a bit of time as well because we now need to compile the Vulcan core. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got an error and it's very, very verbose, very long-winded, but the basic idea is, what does it say here? undefined reference, right. So what's happening is we have this binding and the binding's firing off just fine. It's like, okay, you wanna call this function? You wanna call this function? No problem, I'm fine, but it can't find the functionality that's being called. In other words, we're fine on our end, but we need to link in the Vulkan library. So the way we can do this is we can just go over to our GPR file and we have a number of stages here that we can configure. And actually it doesn't matter which order we write this, but I like to write it this way. So after compiling, I'll define my linker package. 
And these are keywords that the project understands. So if I write linker, it knows what to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the switches, which are the conditions or the options. And I'm just going to tell it to link the Vulkan library, which my system knows about because I set the environment variables up. So now when I try to run this again, it works. And for some reason, it seems to be duplicating things. I don't know, but that's totally fine. It could be a dual monitor thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go back and say, OK, we can look through our properties, our instance properties and say, OK, we can do all these things. But can we actually make an instance? So it's going to do a few things here. And just as a side note, this binding is very readable. It's very usable. So if I'm not entirely sure about these, I can hover over them or I can right click, go to definition, and then I can look at exactly what is, yeah, what it consists of basically. OK, so just a note here, I'm running off the provided example code to query the instance version, the supported instance version. However, just for some reason, this does not work. So it just sort of throws a massive error, which is really weird. I don't know. Um, so what I'm doing instead is I'm just creating a version. So I'll go 1.3 and the other stuff doesn't matter. And I can just leave that. Cool, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set the usual info. So I'll set the ABI, API, wow, my goodness. There we go. Cool. So I just, yeah, pretty much went through the provided example code. We just set up application info. We pass that over to some instance creation info. And then one of the cool things about, uh, one of the cool things about Ada, I mean, is that we have method overloading. So instead of like create instance, create whatever, we just have a create function and the appropriate function is selected based on the arguments. So as you can see, yeah, we have various creation and destruction functions. So let's give this a go, moment of truth. So there we go. We can load this in, we can look at the different layer properties which are supported. We can successfully create a instance. And we can also, I guess, 
destroy the instance. Yeah, there we have it. So just for fun, I'm going to be having a look at some Ada Vulcan stuff and then fingers crossed trying to hook it in with Ada SDL and uh, yeah, doing graphics. Well, that'll be it for today. Um, hope you had fun and I will see you again soon. Bye. Just a really big thank you to all of my channel supporters. I'm community funded. It's how I keep things running. It's how I buy all my pad thai and stuff. If you would like to support the channel, it's only $2.50 a month. If you want to pay more than $2.50 a month, I won't say no. It means a lot. So thank you so much. Um, thank you to Antonong Karet, Dankil Falls, Declan, Gary Deschen, Jean Valsvilla, Mathieu de Rick, and Moim. Thank you so much, my dudes. I really appreciate it. I'm reading off a list, by the way. I always make lists. Step one, write lists. Step two, get my life in order. But thank you so much. I hope you're going well. And yeah, all the best. Have fun. Bye.